Each archival description in MemoryNS can have a digital object associated with it. Digital objects are computer files that can be uploaded and displayed in MemoryNS. They can include scanned text and image files, as well as digital born photographs or textual documents. Digital objects should be representative of the materials described in an archival description. Inventories, file lists, and other metadata documents would not be considered appropriate digital objects, but we'll give some guidance on those later on. You can add digital objects one at a time to existing archival descriptions, or upload a collection of images or texts, causing new archival descriptions to be created for each one. Memory NS has a limited amount of storage space for digital objects, and each memory institution has been allocated a share of it. When logged in and browsing an existing archival description, we should see a menu titled More in the footer, with three options. The first is unrelated to digital objects. The second, Link Digital Object, is what we would use to add a single digital object to the archival description we're currently viewing. Import digital objects, plural, is what we'd use to add multiple digital objects at once, each of which would be linked to a new bare-bones archival description. Let's look at the first option. This new dialog provides us with two options for supplying a digital object to be associated with our font description. First, we can upload a file. This file would be an image or a text in an image or PDF file format. Let's do that now. We can now see the newly created digital object at the top of the description. If we click that More menu at the bottom again, there's a new entry, Edit Digital Object. This tells us about the digital object we've created. It shows we have a master file with a media type setting, and we have information about newly created reference and thumbnail representations. When a new digital object is created, the system automatically generates two scaled down versions of the image or text we've supplied. The reference representation is scaled down to the width of an archival description page. It is what we actually see at the top of any archival description with an associated digital object. The thumbnail representation is even smaller, of the size which is displayed in search results. We can also delete digital objects with no bearing on the associated archival description. It is generally not recommended, but if you wish you can delete or replace either the reference or thumbnail representations. The media type setting allows users to refine their searching and browsing for digital objects. The media type filters we see when searching and browsing digital objects is based on this setting. In most cases, the system will correctly guess the media type. Image files like JPEGs and TIFFs are assumed to be images, whereas PDFs are assumed to be texts, but you may change this if you want. If, for example, you uploaded a JPEG image of a scanned text, the media type would not be guessed correctly. You could manually change it. An alternative to uploading a digital object is to supply the URI of an internet file. Here we'll copy the link address of an original image in Flickr, just as an example. We'll paste that link in the digital object creation form and go. Again, smaller reference and thumbnail versions of our image have been created for viewing, but in this case the large original isn't stored in memory NS, and thus doesn't use up as much storage space. Now let's look at importing sets of digital objects. In our example we have a series called Photographs. Instead of adding a single digital photograph to this series, we'll upload a collection of them at once. First, let's select a few different image files. Straight away we should see thumbnails and sample information going into a staging area below. Because each archival description can only have one digital object associated with it, this form will create one new archival description for each digital object uploaded. The title field at the top serves as a pattern for naming the new archival descriptions below. You can put anything you want here, but the pattern %dd% 
will be replaced with the sequential numbering of the new archival descriptions. So for instance, we would have image 1, image 2, image 3. Or photo 1, photo 2, photo 3. The level of description you set here will be applied to each of the new archival descriptions. We can also make minor changes before creating these new archival descriptions with digital objects. We can add or delete files, or make customizations to any file's title regardless of the pattern above. Only when we click Import will new archival descriptions be created. We can now edit these as we would any other archival description. If we delete an archival description with an associated digital object, the digital object is also deleted. You should now be able to add and delete digital objects.